Our bookcase. Wow, this bookcase has been around for for quite a while. I think we made this back in like what 2011, September 2011. So that's like what three years ago. Oh my goodness! Wow. And we just made it using a photo storage box or like you know a fancy shoe box where you can pretty much take the lid off and it has like a nice little tray shape. In the original video, it wasn't decorated like this. We kind of did this slowly over time, um, you know, kind of just repositioning things and seeing how you wanted them. In the beginning, it was like all the books were just individually placed there so the doll could pull one off and look at it, you know. Not that the dolls could actually take one off the shelf. That's not what I meant. I meant that they could physically be taken off the shelf by, by you. But after like the billionth time of all of these books just falling off the shelf, anytime anyone remotely even touched the house, everything would just come crashing down. It was like, ah, it was crazy. So I was like, let's just, let's just glue them in place. So we get nice little alignment. We get the look we want without, you know, all the mess. Cause now they don't go anywhere. See, love it. It stays kind of neat and organized. And to tell you the truth, I am not the most organized person. Which is horrible, but I'm trying to be. And that's kind of what inspired me to talk about the bookcase because we're actually putting bookcases together to try to organize my creative space. Because right now, it kind of looks like Sophie's side of the room. Hey, I resent that, but it's true. But the funny thing is, now that we're getting, you know, all organized, I actually can't find anything. I wanted to do a video on our guitars, but I couldn't find them. All I could find was this printable. And yes, it may have seemed unorganized to the average person walking in, but I knew where everything was. Now if I can just find my pencil. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the bookcase. Okay, this is a great place to show off all your dolls' little uh, knickknacks and tchotchkes, things that you really want to add a lot of detail to the room, but ne necessarily want all over the room. So that's why we glue everything down. But anyway, we filled the shelves with several of these little books that we made using cardboard and newspaper. We found tons of little pictures of books in the newspaper and that made fantastic covers for our little um, books. And then we have like some nail polish here, which is from our doll makeup video, or vanity video, I think it's from the vanity. And then the letters, these are just foam cut letters that we stuck onto the back of the bookcase. And it, you know, how people have like letters displayed on their bookcases, I thought that was kinda cool. Beads, beads are awesome for vases. They're super simple, glue the bead down and stick some artificial plants in. Voila, you have a fantastic looking vase. Or you can use them as like little statues. We found these cute little giraffe statues and we thought that was pretty neat to put on the bookcase. We have DVDs and Blu-rays from our doll cell phone Blu-rays and DVD video or DVD, Blu-ray and cell phone, okay, it's one of those. And um, I actually haven't seen most of those videos. Folded up fabric on the bottom that has been glued in place looks like little throws. So maybe your dolls need like something, like a blanket to cozy up with when they're watching a movie. And then we have our little suitcase on the bottom which adds a fun little level of detail. And if I was to make this again, I would probably leave a space for a television in the middle. I maybe even turn it on its side and put the television right here and like bookcases down the middle with your DVD players or VCRs or whatever down here. Oh, that's an idea. And if you don't feel like crafting the actual bookcase, then a drawer organizer can work good too, especially for a larger size doll. But however you choose to make the bookcase, it will add fabulous detail to any room. It even looks pretty good in the beach house. So we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own doll bookcase. We want to give a shout out to Camille Johnson. What's up?